Aries, you need to know this right now for January the 14th through January the 15th, 2024. Universal energies. Show me what I need to see for the star sign of Aries for January the 14th through January the 15th, 2024. Universal energies. Show me what I need to see for the star sign of Aries for January the 14th through January the 15th, 2024. Universal energies. Show me what I need to see for the star sign of Aries for January the 14th through January the 15th, 2024. Show me. You guys, subscribe, like, comment, and share these videos. If this does not resonate with you, check your moon, rising, and Venus sign videos. I do not read reversals. If you're interested in a private reading, you can reach me at herimmortalmajesty at gmail.com. So, Aries. Aries, these are your cards, honey. So, Aries, you have the two of swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, this is you needing to make a decision, but you're in the dark about some things. Some things you just refuse to see, refuse to acknowledge, a lack of information, block communication. So it's hard for you to make an informed decision in this position. But this is also a card of you being closed off, blocked off, not wanting to see, wanting to ignore, wanting to turn a blind eye. So Aries, either you're indecisive or you're blocking. Clarify the two of swords. For Aries, clarify the two of swords. For Aries, clarify the two of swords. For Aries, it is clarified with the six of swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is moving away to calmer waters, moving away to a place of peace. So either mentally or physically, you're wanting to move away. Now, this can speak to if you guys had any type of disagreements or arguments between you. Agreeing to disagree, letting bygones be bygones, and moving away to a place of peace and harmony together. Or this is you saying you just want to move out, move on, and move away from the relationship. So, Aries, listen, you can tell me that you're physically moving or traveling. You can tell me, hey, let's just put it behind us and move away to a place of peace and harmony together, letting bygones be bygones. Or you're saying you just want to move out, move on, and move away from the relationship. Now, Aries, listen, you can tell me that you're indecisive on whether or not you want to just put it behind you and move away to a place of peace and harmony with this person. You may be indecisive on whether or not you just want to move out, move on, and move away from the relationship. Or you're telling me that you're blocking and you're, you are moving out, moving on, moving away from the relationship. You could also be indecisive about some type of travel. Aries, you have the Four of Cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. There's the offer on the table that you're not accepting or rejecting. You're contemplating this offer, but actually you're bored with the offer, thinking of missing the offer. But this is also a card of you contemplating sending a offer, but you feared that the offer would be rejected. So Aries, very well could be an offer coming into you that you're thinking about missing. However, you could be contemplating sending a offer. You just have this fear it won't be accepted. Clarify the Four of Cups for Aries. Clarify the Four of Cups for Aries. Clarify the Four of Cups for Aries. It is clarified with the star. Could be dealing with an Aquarius, but the star symbolizes having hope, having faith, healing, getting your wish, being divinely guided, following your destiny. So Aries, listen, you can tell me that you're getting your wish following your destiny. You can tell me that you need to heal individually on your own or you're holding out hope and faith that you guys can heal things, mend things, work things out and reconcile. Clarify the star for Aries. Clarify the star for Aries. Clarify the star for Aries. It is clarified with strength. 
Could be dealing with a Leo. But the universe is calling for you to have strength, courage, determination, motivation to keep moving forward and to do the right thing. But this is also a card of you trying to tame your lusts, tame your passions, trying to restrain yourself, restrict yourself, and hold yourself back from something. So Aries could be dealing with a Leo, but you can tell me that you're feeling extremely weak here. You can tell me that you're restraining yourself, restricting yourself, and holding yourself back, or trying to muster the strength and courage to do something. Clarify strength for Aries. Clarify strength for Aries. Clarify strength for Aries. It is clarified with the Ace of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is truth. This is clarity. This is communication. Now, this could be the sword of decision, the sword of victory. But this could also be the sword that one reels to sever a relationship. So, Aries, listen, you can tell me that you guys are having this communication. You can tell me that you've come into some truth and clarity. You can tell me that you're making a decision or you're using this sword to sever. Now, Aries, you guys very well could be having this communication. But I also feel like you're needing to make a decision here. Because there could be an offer coming into you, you know, and maybe you're deciding to kind of restrain yourself or hold yourself back. Maybe you're just wanting to heal individually, individually on your own and block them, you know, block it out. Or you're just indecisive and needing to make this decision. However, Aries, you could also tell me that it's you wanting to come in with this offer. And you're needing to muster the strength and courage to do so because you're wanting to heal things with this person. It's just that you have to make a decision to do so. Aries, you have the Queen of Cups, Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This queen is a very loving, kind, compassionate queen. This is a nurturing queen. This is the mothering energy. She's very intuitive and psychic, and she searches her emotions could be dealing with Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces, or someone with water prominent in their chart. However, you could be taking on the energy of this Queen of Cups, using your intuition concerning something, or searching your emotions concerning something. Also with the Queen of Cups, this is a mothering, nurturing energy, so you could be dealing with the parent of your child here. Clarify the Queen of Cups for Aries. Clarify the Queen of Cups for Aries. Clarify the Queen of Cups. For Aries, it is clarified with the Five of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is tit for tat, tug of war, one up in one another, snide remarks, having the last say, speaking ill of one another behind each other's back, backstabbing one another. This is playing mind games, ego tripping, trying to win at all costs, a bunch of mind games and manipulation. So listen, Aries, you can tell me that you guys had this tit for tat, tug of war, toe to toe going on. Could be some form of mind games and manip manipulation. However, you can tell me that you're pissed and you have an axe to grind here. So, Aries, it seems like you're doing some heavy-duty soul searching, okay? Or using your intuition concerning some type of maybe back and forth communication that you guys had, this tit for tat, or some type of mind games and manipulation here. Hmm. And maybe this is the reason why you're a little hesitant. Aries. You have the Queen of Wands. This is you, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. This queen is a very fiery, feisty, bold, and confident energy. Someone who handles their business with a lot of passion, effort, and energy. So, Aries, this is you. Clarify the Queen of Wands for Aries. Clarify the Queen of Wands for Aries. What about Aries? What about Aries? Clarify the Queen of Wands for Aries. It is clarified with the lovers. Could be dealing with a Gemini, but the lover says, you know, I breathe you in, you breathe me in. We are so magnetically attracted to one another. We cannot get enough of one another. Babe, I need to make a choice. So Aries could be dealing with a Gemini, but you can tell me that you guys have this strong twin flame magnetic pull. You can tell me there's another other lover, but the lovers could also be a partnership with work or business. Clarify the lovers for Aries. Clarify the lovers for Aries. Clarify the lovers for Aries. It is clarified with the Six of Cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is someone from your past. Flashback from the past. Full-fledged in the flesh. 
Someone from your past is back. Now, you can be reminiscing on someone from your past, remembering someone from your past, but something or someone from the past is being revisited. This is twin flame energy. This is reconciliation energy. So, Aries, listen, you can tell me that you're having feelings of nostalgia, wanting to reunite with this person from your past. You can tell me that someone from your past is in the picture, someone from their past is in the picture, something from the past is being brought back up here, or this involves children. Now, Aries, listen, this is twin flame energy here. Now, you can tell me that you guys have this strong twin flame magnetic pull and you're wanting to reunite, okay? It's you wanting to come in with this offer. You just have this fear it won't be accepted. Aries, you can tell me that there's another other lover here. Someone from your past or their past may be in the picture. Hmm. Maybe this is why you're feeling like it's some type of manipulation here. Aries, you have the Seven of Cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is having many options, but all of these options aren't viable. Now, this can speak to confusion, wishful thinking, fantasy, illusions, but having many options. So, Aries, you can tell me that you're all up in your head fantasizing. You can tell me that there is some confusion. You can tell me that you need to make a choice. You can tell me that there was lies and illusions or the fact that someone had other options and explore some of those other options. Clarify the Seven of Cups for Aries. Clarify the Seven of Cups for Aries. Clarify the Seven of Cups for Aries. It is clarified with the Ten of Pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is financial success and abundance. This is where two people come together in a long-standing committed relationship, joining together their assets and resources to build something to pass down from generation to generation, creating a legacy. So we're speaking of marriage, commitment, home, family, assets, resources, property, inheritance, legacy. So Aries, listen, this can be about your money, assets, resources, abundance. Very well could be that someone has commitment on the brain. But in tarot, tens are ending, so it could be an ending to you guys' commitment, marriage, living together situation, or family dynamics. Now Aries, listen, you can tell me that there's some type of confusion going on in you guys' commitment. You can also tell me that there was lies and illusions, and this is the reason why it's ending. That someone had other options here, another other lover. Hmm. And maybe you're just ready to block and move on or you're indecisive on whether or not we can just put it behind us. But Aries, listen, I want to know if you're ready to block this person and move on because you want to go towards your wish. You just have this fear this cup won't be accepted. Someone you have this twin flame connection with, someone maybe from your past, and you could be fantasizing about going into commitment with this person, but there's maybe someone trying to manipulate you to stay where you are. I'm going to take a look at the situation ship for you, Aries. Now, this is just additional messages here. And it says, plug, tune in, internet connected. Plug, tune in, internet connected. I don't know, maybe someone you're talking to online, over the phone, messenger. What else for Aries? What else for Aries? And it says single, current status, available. Single, current status, available. So I feel like, are you trying to free yourself up for someone from your past, Aries? Hmm. If you're interested in a private reading, you can reach me at herimmortalmajesty at gmail.com. Aries, you need to know this right now for January the 14th through January the 15th, 2024. You guys, give me feedback, subscribe, like, comment, and share. And follow me on Twitter at Her Immortal Maj, M-A-J. And I'll see you guys next week. Peace.